Pro Gamer Manager was gifted to me back when I was doing Software Inc and I never really got around to playing it, but from what I could tell it was a very simple game at the time. But it was just announced that sometime, I believe, towards the end of uh, September, maybe a bit later, there's going to be a pretty large update to the FPS aspect of this game. So I thought I would start up a quick series on it, take a look at it, and do sort of a before and after comparison. For those of you who aren't familiar with this game, it is just your typical management uh, type simulator game that I absolutely love to play. Uh, I love that genre of games. There are two different aspects to it. There's managing a team and there's actually being a, a, a pro gamer. I never played at all with career mode, so that'll be completely blind. Manager mode, I have a little bit of experience with. I messed around with it a little bit. So I think what I'll do is I'll check out manager mode first, because I'm going to assume that's a simpler, uh, simpler of the two. Next update seems to be dealing heavily with management mode. So I'm assuming career mode is is pretty cool. I don't know, though. We'll, we'll find out in a bit. I'm going to hit manager mode first, though. And if you don't know what this game's like, uh, I'll sort of explain what I know, the best I can at least. We will be... Yare, team name. Flurry, actually no. There we go. Eh, both a Final Fantasy reference and it makes sense for Yare. We're Avalanche. Forename, Krug, obviously. Surname, Dudeski. Age. Six. Perfect. We will be... What nationality? Krogdutsky is very much America, however... Mm, let's go for... Shout out to Germany, how about that? German demographic is the number three viewership on my channel. Choose eSport. The FPS is what's being worked on, majorly next update, and FPS is what I do know and kind of sort of somewhat love, whereas FOBA I absolutely hate and know nothing about it. Uh, I know nothing about ADC, jungle, top, no idea what any of that means. FPS though, I, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with FPS, except entry fragger, that's a term that I'm not familiar with, I can probably assume what that is. So we'll go for FPS. The sponsorships are completely randomized. Wow. Last time I did this, I had one that was like a really obvious choice that gave you well over a thousand credits per week, and the other two were just complete trash. So we've got a Minial uh, Gaming Event, or Kilanial, and Pewen for Game House. Uh. I guess we'll go for Minial. They, they pay the most? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so here we are. We're in the team room by default. And this is where you would talk to your players, fire players, hire new players, scout for different players, all that kind of stuff. There's esports league information that just has the general standings and all that stuff. Upcoming matches. Uh, we are against the Handsome Lee Rabbits team. Next. No idea about them. From what I can tell, I can't really, I can't click them, I can't get any information on them. I can't figure out who their players are on their team. So, because of that, I can't really sabotage the game or prepare for it in any particular way. But perhaps one day, that's something we could do. Oh no, there we go, okay. Handsomely Rabbits. Look at me being completely wrong, there's a giant info button over here. So they've got Gandal, May, Cherowheel, Gunter, and Psycho. Or Seiko? Psycho? I don't know. Um, the little number there being their overall skills. So this guy is their support player. And he's pretty... That's pretty good. 27 is not bad at all. Well, in, in pro, that's pretty bad. I think that's out of, uh, out of 99. But given that we're just complete nobodies... Pretty good. I'll have to watch out for that. But anyway, uh, I don't know anything about their tactics, though. So... Yeah, we'll just sort of wing it. First things first though, we gotta hire new people, but I'll walk you through these menus real quick. Management here is just, uh, sometimes things come up, people will talk to you and be like, hey, I've got this issue, and manager desk, and staff reports I assume being for staff that I never recruited. I never got far enough for that. Contracts, where you can just adjust contracts, um, try to 
when a player's contract starts running out, this is where you renew the contract and all that jazz. Uh, B2 never got far enough for that. Finance is just a finance report. Phone, you can call press or sponsors and hype stuff. You can also call players. There is world events where you spend money and enter a world event. It costs 2,000 credits uh, at this stage of the game. I'd imagine it costs more as you get further along. Organization is uh, doing things for your particular brand. Tech is uh, advancing that stuff for your brand. Things like website and all that jazz. This is where you set options for the website. You could be like, oh yeah, let's just uh, just advertise it with banner ads or let's post our player statistics on there and all that. And search is something for your fan base. News, obviously just news. And progress to the next day. But first, before we go to the next day, we do have to start making a team. We can only recruit one person per day, and because I'm just going to build up a ragtag crew, I'm not going to be doing the scouting or any of that. So we will recruit low-ranked, cheap-ass players local in our area, and see what we get. Now unfortunately, once you're in this menu, you're sort of obligated, you can only recruit one player a day, and if I cancel out, the flag's already been raised that I recruited a player even though I haven't actually technically recruited them. So we're sort of obligated at this point, which makes it a bit of a pain in the ass for finding the particular role that you're looking for. But uh, we'll improvise. I'll probably just pick up the cheapest players that I can find. We got a team player, Opera here, 74 a week, 23 is their skill, which means they'll have pr probably rounds down, probably 11 points to spend. We'll pick you up for now. Why not? And hit you. You are. Wait, what? Lurker? You're a pretty terrible lurker. You're uh you're an auber. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that uh hopefully that changes when we pick up an actual lurker. Edit for just the name. Uh just pulling from my list real quick. Just Aaron. How about that? Here we go, and then we'll get uh, KP Lizardsy, Scout, and Werlax, Betour in there. So, let's... Yeah, okay, 11 points. It does round down, that's fine. This is where the game starts getting a bit complicated, but I don't know how in-depth it actually is. The thing just happened. Oh, he started a game, I think that was. He is, he is a sniper. So, we'll obviously put some points into opping, put some points into aiming. And go for a little bit of game sense. Game sense is pretty important. And we'll leave it at that. I can go into tactics, but I'll do that after the uh, after all the recruitment, but I can only recruit once a day, so it'll be uh, it'll be a few days. So we'll just advance, recruit, advance, recruit, advance. It's a bit annoying, but uh, that's fine. In the meantime, he's just going to be doing skirmish matches. From what I can tell, there's really nothing that can come of it. Uh, he doesn't seem to really gain any skill during it. He doesn't adjust mood or any of that. I think it's just probably you just playing as the team might increase your synergy a bit more over time. But I don't know. I think really it's just a uh, just an idle animation type thing. Player number two, local. We got... Wow, a lot of snipers. Uh, I think I guess... Uh, I I guess I'll go with you. You're the only not sniper. You're not the cheapest, but you are fairly cheap. So we'll go for you. He is consistent. Go for game sense, utility, and aim. Because I think you're the guy who just rushes in there and kills shit. Or I can have you set up, so I think you can also be set up so you're a bit sneaky. Um, we'll just go. Just go whatever. Entry fragger, individual setup. Yeah, it can be all about just like staying alive. So we'll go for that. Stay alive. Go for the headshots. Real quick early kills. Although there's a chance they'll just kill you before you kill anybody else, but that's fine. And then utility priority. Again, I don't know how, how much it actually matters. For this type of guy, generally you'd be going for a flash, I think. Maybe a smoke, but smoke it. It's when I use them as always defensively. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll go for that. And then we got, we got the sniper as well. Uh, focus on killing the opera. Take out their snipers. Daring combat. Situational. Sure, why not? And utility priority, I guess, grenade. 
cool. Next day. So we have Entry Fragger and Sniper. So let's grab... Okay. We'll go for the support here, I think. He is the cheapest. Excellent. And you... Always game sense. Your support, so we'll go a little bit utility. A little bit of communication and some aim. Sort of spread it around. Your very average Terrence Michael. Oh, also, names. Uh, we got Aaron. Huh. I remembered the, the other guy's name. There we go. And edit. And tactics for the support person. You will assist... Assess the entry fragger, I think. Help him out. Intel and flash, I guess. I gave you a little bit of communication, so a little bit of intel might be okay. Oh, news. 546 new fans are following us. Recent week had impact on team's follower base, somehow. I I'm not sure. We have 701 fans, actually. We're not even doing anything. just those uh, those random skirmish matches man people are really making friends with us there we go 935 fans now I don't know man low ranked local there we go we need we need both of these 92 a week six points oh god that that's really terrible like that is that is Awful, you are both horrible. I think we're gonna have to go for the more expensive Nariko here. There we go, we'll, we'll go for that. Definitely game sense because you're gonna be probably gonna have you be the uh, well, I didn't pick up what his uh, what his trait was. Got a little bit of communication, aim. Some utility. Because you can either go recon. I was thinking about having recon, and this would also be the team leader. But, uh, now ah, well. Combat situational. Focus on disruption. And I guess grenade. I don't know. I don't know. Next day. I sort of wish this beginning bit was a little accelerated, so you can just kind of start with a ragtag group. I think you're the only choice we've got. You're consistent. Yeah, because there's the traits there, but I can't, uh... <laughs> I don't think I can ever see that trait ever again after I choose it. So we'll go for you. So like, yeah, it's it's just, it's not here at all. Utility, 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 lurker, duelist. Jesus, this is so bad, I think. I don't know, I can't tell. And nobody's, nobody's role really matches what they are. I won't pretend to be like awesome cool at this game. I'm still somewhat learning. I've only applied just like a couple hours just to get the sort of the hang of it. Go for... We need somebody with communication. Because, oh my god. There we go. Communication, game sense, aim. There we go. You will be the leader. You are kind of sort of okay at it. Uh, that is Rifler. And the eco rounds, just save your money. That means that we're going to be... We're going to be behind at the start of matches, generally, but we'll pick up. We'll be sort of a late game type thing. That's fine. Okay, that's that's that. That is 
that is our team morale is low because we haven't done anything synergy is low because we haven't actually done any matches again the the little the stuff they're doing here is just i think it's just an idle animation really i don't think it actually does anything Fan community writes that KPO Zero is our only weak link this season. Oh shit, really? Are you sure? I don't know. Everybody's utility. <laughs> uh, you need to be renamed. Scouten. And Werelax. Excellent. Welcome aboard, everybody. Good luck. Have fun. Let's head into our first game. There's literally nothing else we can do. So our overall skill is a bit higher than their overall skill. Remember, this is the team where I believe their support player was really good. Everybody else is kind of shit. It'll be an even game, but uh, prediction states Avalanche will win. Well, let's, let's find out what happens. Now, from what I'm reading, this is the aspect that's going to be changed very heavily, this whole interface. Right now, there's not much I can really do. I can change tactics if need be, but I think I'm probably just going to leave it on balance for the time being. Maybe switch it over to offensive later on. For the most part, we're somewhat accurate and we have pretty good game sense, so it probably wouldn't be a terrible thing to just go on offense. They're actually, uh, they're actually beating us in the fights, and I'm, I'm blaming their amazing support person for that. Let's switch over to offensive. And see how that does for us. I think it goes until it's like best out of 30 or something like that. So basically whoever gets 16 first, which is probably going to be them. Ooh, a bit of a late game surge. Yeah, they want it. That's fine. They had a very, very good player there. We're all mediocre and we have like no synergy at all. Aaron being the flop of the game. Well done. Hey, everybody performed kind of sort of poopy. Where lacks level though, so he's got a skill point to spend. Scout and performed. Pretty well there, two stars. Their whole team did really well though. That's just a shame. Now, now watch them because we kind of got our ass kicked by them. Watch them just lose like every other game now. We're the only ones they beat. Mm. So where lags one skill point to spend because you leveled. Let's go for utility, a little bit of it. Excellent. See, because I don't really know like, you're all utility, and I think that's just... I think that's just based on... how your skill points are distributed. I don't... I don't really know. I don't know, but you did really well. You're playing great, keep it up. Okay. And everybody else I think was like zero stars? You were doing okay, talk. You could be better. You think I've been playing superb? Xerxes. That's the spirit. And you get zero stars. Alright. Aaron, talk. You were terrible. <laughs> Alright, that's that. Uh, team morale still low. Team synergy going a little bit. And synergy, I imagine being very, very critical for... Um, just overall leadership and all that kind of stuff working together as a proper team though team synergy i think completely resets or might just take a huge hit if a player leaves if they're kicked or if they request to leave advance to the next day because there's not really much else we can do and into our next versus who are we going up against oops wrong one Aware Ponage. What are they like? We're gonna get our ass kicked. 
25, 20, 20, 19, 7. Mm. Oh, shit. Well, actually, actually, we're pretty good. 2022, 22, 2016. We just, we have no synergy. And also, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, so. <laughs> I don't Could be anybody's game. The thing, Scouting will, uh, will lead us to victory. Let's, let's see what happens there. I'm just going to leave us on balance the entire time. There we go. We got it. That's a game. Fuck, that was close. <sighs> Had me nervous. Uh, all of us have roughly a one to one kill death ratio, except Werelax, but that's that's probably okay. He's only the team leader. And grats to Xerxes for leveling. And this is, for the most part, what this is. It, it's really simplistic, and I'm I'm thinking maybe career mode might be a bit better because this is what seems to be the big focus for next update. So it's understandably a bit a bit simplistic. Give you give you probably probably some better aim, and then change you over to focusing on kills. There you go. So you're in there with the entry fragger. Who is all about disruption, confront early, go for a flash. There we go. Give that a go. Mm, I don't have... I don't have any credit. I think tomorrow we might get money. No, not yet. All right. One of these days. I missed the news. Ooh, Smiling Warriors are so much better at every position. I forgot to look at their players. Oh, man. We actually won. I didn't think we would win that game. I'm actually pretty surprised. Xerxes not really doing too great. Give him some more time. He's new. Let's check out, who were they? Uh, that was Smiling Warriors, I believe. They've only won one game so far. Whoa, Steven. Holy shit, they're entry fragger. I can edit their profile, what? Oh, that's odd, okay. Murky Mints and Handsomely Rabbits are currently top. Oh, they also have a Steven at 30. Wait, what? That's awkward. They have like the exact same team, Murky Minks. And Smelling Warriors. Yeah, it, it is. It, it's, this, it's the same team. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. And Narionis is a highly skilled free agent. Rumor is that Hansley Rabbits just offered a contract. Fuck them. Most entry pick Xerxes. Hey, grats. Well, stop kill scouting. Hey, grats, 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 opping with the <laughs> with with the lurker s spot. I don't. What? Mm, team morale's uh, growing because we're winning. The synergy is growing as well just because we're playing together, so that's cool. Let's, uh, next day. 
keep on keeping on. Hopefully we get paid soon and get a little bit of money so I can enter into a tournament and we'll see what happens there. Probably get our ass kicked. Next up, we're against Murky Minx, who is effectively the exact same team that we just versed. Although we did win, so there is that. <laughs> 